The following is a fan based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Yo, Z. Yo, Kaiser, I'm happy for you, and I'm gonna let you finish, but Yu Gi Oh! Abridged is one of the greatest shows of all time. My soul has been sent to the Shadow Realm. Well, ain't that a kick in the teeth? I'm afraid even friendship cannot save her now. Bull crap! Three duels into the semi finals, and three people have been hospitalized. I wonder if there is a connection. Wanna know the best thing about unconscious chicks? They can't say no. What? Oh, yeah, like I'm the only one thinking it. Kawaii -ka! I've almost finished analyzing the Egyptian text, Seto. I'm using Babelfish, so the translation should be about 38% accurate. Thank you, talking collar. Man, a talking collar. As if his coat wasn't badass enough. It's like he's wearing kit from Knight Rider. Well, it looks like my opponent has decided to concede. They must have realized that it was pointless to even face me on the field of battle. Their chances of victory were so slim Hello. that... Hello. Damn it, okay, never mind. Yugi, what's that thing? That's Ishizu. She's the one who told me about my ancient past, even though I already kinda knew about it. She's a mysterious character shrouded in mystery, which is just another way of saying she's boring as all get out. I'd hit it. Ishizu, help me! Sorry, Maddox, but your sister is in another castle. No! What is this? I don't even... Sorry I'm late. I was stuck on this really difficult Professor Layton puzzle. You know the one. How in the hell did you enter my tournament and get to the semi-finals without my knowing about it? Seriously, you'd think I'd keep tabs on stuff like that. I achieved victory with my Millennium Necklace. It allows me to perceive the future. So you cheated. Just like everybody else here. Nice. Good to know my Battle City rules were completely ineffectual. Hey, I didn't cheat. You're not even in my tournament, Wheeler. Abadanye? I'm here to save my brother's soul. He has been consumed by a great evil, and I intend to rid him of it. Good luck with that, Chuckle Nuts. I've been om nom nomming on his soul for a good ten years now, and I happen to like the taste. Mmm, that's good magic soul. Look, I don't believe in any of this bullshit. You wanna know what I believe in? Trading cards, and lots of them. So put up your fucking dukes, bitch, because you are going down, Kaiba Corp style. You may not believe, Kaiba, but by the end of this duel, you will know that there is an even greater power at work here. A power that threatens the very fabric of our existence. I'm not interested in your fairy tales. Unless they involve unicorns. I like unicorns. Me too. Shut up, talking collar. We are all of us part of an online phenomenon known as Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series, created by a chubby British guy in his mid-twenties, and four kids wishes to see this show cancelled. Here, let me pretend I'm interested. Gee, Mrs. Shizu, why would they want to do that? Because Yu-Gi-Oh! is a product under their control, and right now, most of the interest in Yu-Gi-Oh! stems from our world. But our universe has grown tired and cliché. Our characters have become nothing more than vessels for lame catchphrases. For example, Joey saying, yeah. Addy? Kaiba saying, screw the rules, I have money. Haven't said that in years. Or Tristan saying, pretty much anything. God damn it, Nappa! If that's true, then why don't you have a catchphrase? Because shut up. There is a prophecy, Kaiba. A prophecy that speaks of our world being destroyed. And unless I defeat you, that prophecy will come true. Well, good, because I wouldn't want to live in a world where a worthless character like you can defeat me! My turn. I activate my crush card virus, leaving you with no monsters to attack me with. And now, virus cannon! Center magic cards to the graveyard. Ha! Now do you understand why so many people love me, even though I'm the biggest dick in this entire show? It's because I'm Seto freaking Kaiba. Accept no substitutes. I just ruined your entire deck in a few measly turns. And now it's just a matter of time before I destroy you with the very card you gave to me. Obelisk the Torment! Exchange of spirit! Exchange of what now? Now we must swap the cards in our decks with the cards in our graveyards, leaving me with all the cards I need. And you, Kaiba, with only six. Fuuuuck! You my Wang, G? Yes, I am Colonel Wang. Can I touch you? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because Wang means penis. Oh no, Seto's in danger. I must save him. To the Mokuba Mobile! I wonder how that milkshake's Mokuba doing. Mokuba-mobile away! There isn't a Mokuba-mobile. Big Brother, are you okay? Uh... Huh. 
Mokuba, she's crippled my deck. What the hell do I do now? Kick her in the nads. She doesn't have those things. In that case, I'm all out of options. Thanks, Mokuba. As always, you've been a big help. No problem, bro. Yawn. This card game needs more imminent death. I think I'll go find Odeon and murder him a little. Then maybe I'll give the Pharaoh the biggest hug of his life. Oh, fudge, I could have sworn I set this thing to vibrate. Obelisk, I command you to- Wait, Kaiba. You must not use Obelisk. The future depends on it. And so does the past. What the? Just who the hell are you? I am the cybernetic ghost of Christmas past from the future. And I am here to help you win this children's card game. And why would you want to do that? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked, because you see, thousands of years ago, there was a bloody war between man and machine. Mankind fought tooth and nail to defeat the rampaging devices, but their leader, Christian Bale, was blinded by greed and bitterness. And it was to be his downfall. For he was murdered in his sleep by his wife, Bryce Dallas Howard, who was, as it turns out, a deadly Cylon agent. Wait, I thought you said this all happened in the past. It did. And it will. Look, can we just get to the part that concerns me? It's all about you, isn't it, Seto Kaiba? Well, yeah. Very well. Thousands of years ago, before Joss Whedon, you lived in ancient Egypt. And you were dating this really hot chick. I was? Yes. She was totally into you for some reason. Huh. Did we ever have sex? Yes. Was it good? No! Yeah. Kaiba, you must not use your god card. If you do, the fate of the world and your totally hot dragon girlfriend from the distant future will be in grave danger. Then how the hell do I defeat a Shizu? Ask yourself. What would Christian Bale do? I thought you said he was murdered by his robot wife. Yes. Don't do that. I don't know, man. You should probably summon your blue eyes or something. Man, I really need to cut down on the drugs. So, you're going to attack me with Obelisk, right? Actually, I changed my mind about that. But this is what Destiny told me you would do. F*** Destiny. I am Seto Kaiba. I make my own fate. And now I'm going to summon my blue eyes white dragon to destroy your remaining life points. But why? Why would you do such a thing? Because a robot from the future told me to. Oh, what? Like it's any more ridiculous than half the stuff you've been coming out with. I lost. That giant rock lied to me. It looks like the rules just got screwed. <laughs> Oh, what's up? It's starting to bore me how much you suck. No, seriously. You all suck. Boink! I broke your stupid crap, moron. My fists, they are made of steel! Please stop doing that.